Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play uh, Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. We were here with our party of four. We just defeated the first boss, the monk. Finally, we defeated the monk. And we have our fourth companion here, Fimrock, who is a blight druid. I have uh, put his spells in, so let's take a look at his spell book. And I decided that I didn't need to respect him. I think, I think we're okay. Um... And looking at, I mean, to be honest, when I looked up Blight Druid stuff, uh, it wasn't encouraging to, to, to see what was being said about the, the good old Blight Druid here. Basically, at least from what I saw, they're not the greatest. Uh, so that's a little discouraging, but we should be okay, I hope. Um, but yeah, let's see. I was just, I was thinking about his constitution. It's very high. Uh, so we've got Barkskin, we've got Stone Call, which obviously, you know, doesn't do great when it's, uh, you know, hitting our allies, so that could be problematic. Aspect of the Bear, Lesser Restoration, um, does not remove permanent diseases, so we gotta keep that in mind. We do still have a disease, which is what we're going back to the dock to take care of. Hopefully we can, uh, find a way with our, oh, we actually have quite a bit of money still, because we have... We didn't sell anything, right? Um, but yeah, we got that. And then first level, we got a heal just in case. Couple snowballs, uh, magic fang, and long strider. So that's everything he's got. And now we need to sell our stuff. Let's take a look. Um, do you need anything? You wielding a scimitar is fine. I mean, you shouldn't be in human form or dwarf form that often so it shouldn't be a problem we have this so we could potentially have that on and whenever you know if you drink that i think your ac would go up even in bear form or wolf form or whatever um i think i suppose we could have you have a shield just in case you ever need to be in this this form you can have some some defense and i suppose getting him that armor instead too just in case he ever needs to be in this form he'll be good to go and actually if we're gonna do that we might as well give him that right well i like the light shield it looks nice like i said he shouldn't be in that form very often so we should be fine but we need to go here we need to buy some stuff um Okay, go ahead and bulk sell. There you go. Sort. Don't need any of this. Including, well, we might keep this. We might buy a, a monk for one of the other two slots. We might. I don't know yet, but we might. Um, get rid of all of these. I can always rebuy them if I need to. Okay, so we have 8,900 gold. Oh, shit, we could actually build another companion, couldn't we? Well, let's see Let's see what it costs to get rid of our disease, because that's kind of more important. Would it be remove disease? Um, I wonder if a potion would be cheaper, probably, huh? Where are your potions at? Where are your potions? Do you not have a lot of potions? So it'd be in here, right? It's not cure disease, is it? Mm, no. Okay, so it'd be scroll of remove. Remove disease. 375. We can buy that. And I think we are going to buy a companion. I think that will be more valuable than getting some upgrades. Personally. Do I have anybody who can cast that spell? You can probably cast it, right? Yeah. Keep your wits about you. Go ahead. Cast that on him. There we go. Finally got rid of that disease. 
So let's go and buy our fifth companion. And see what we can think about doing here. Um, now I do see... I do have some comments from this morning, because this is still Sunday that I'm playing. Um, let me just check that real quick. I know, I know, I'm terrible at checking before I actually start and planning this stuff out. Um, so this, so this is, I think this is probably advice for my previous party, but let's see what we've got here. So this is from Spades, uh, a brown fur arcanist. is the idea here. Um, uh, okay, you want him to be a human. So we'll save him for the next party. And then we still have the Mother's Tiefling. That'll be for the next party as well. Yeah, the, the, the having the dwarf party get to throw off the idea of, of getting a lot of different um, recommendations from you guys. I do apologize for that, but listen, when I see the option to have a full dwarf party, I got to do it. I just got to do it. Um, okay. So. What do we need? I'm thinking a ranger. I know we were going to go for a ranger when we saw the druid. Um, but I think a ranger would be very useful for us here. And isn't there like an urban-esque ranger? Real quick, what, what do I have here? I don't typically want to use these characters. Just because, you know, they kind of have a story to them already. But if there's a good dwarf here... Then maybe... I don't actually see hardly any dwarves, which is slightly disappointing. Yeah, I don't see any dwarves at all. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, well then, we need a druid dwarf. Now, this dude, he could work. Right? We could get the Evercold crossbow thing and go ham with it. I don't think I really have. Uh, he's obviously not a ranger or a dwarf, rather, but could be. Yeah, there's just not a lot of ranger dwarves. Which is unfortunate, for sure. This is the tough part. This is the tough part. Well, you're not a dwarf. <laughs> mm hmm. Basically, I'm just looking at anybody with a big beard. And thinking, hey, this could be a dwarf. We could make this guy be a dwarf. <sighs> Damn. There's really not that many options, are there? Alright. Okay. We'll go with... We'll go with the sort of urban-esque ranger dude. This guy. Um, you know, I, he could work. I could see him being a ranger. He's definitely a slayer type, but it is what it is. So if we go ranger, like it could be an espionage expert. Yeah, that's that's what I think I'm looking for when I'm thinking about that picture. Although, what does that lose for us? Uh, these masterful spies hunt for secrets rather than meat, using lies and stealthiness as effectively as blades and arrows. So, we're a divine caster with charisma as our caster ability. Is that for all? No, most of them are wisdom. Interesting. A freebooter could work too. A pirate kind of character. Hmm. Do rangers not get a pet? That's hunter, isn't it? Hunters get the pets. 
Yeah, okay. Colluding scoundrel. Is a canny and conniving skirmisher, manipulating her enemies and leveraging her allies for her own benefits. An urban hunter. Urban hunters help guard track guard track down and apprehend criminals or spies, find lost children and devas er, and disaster victims, and protect animals from abuse in the city. They still draw their inspiration and strength from the natural world, marveling at how nature flourishes wherever the city allows. I like this. I like this. So, we lose the teamwork feats that a hunter usually has. We do lose animal companion. Okay, we have just have a limited uh, amount of animal companions we can pick up. That's fine. And we also lose hunter tactics. Right. But we gain animal insight. Mm-hmm. Bonus on perception checks. Okay. And we get captor. At sixth, at sixth level and every three levels thereafter, the urban hunter selects a bonus feat from the following list to be gained by both the hunter and her animal companion. Neither the hunter nor her animal companion needs to meet the prerequisites. Okay. So bull rush, dirty trick, disarm, trip. Okay. So trip is a good one. And then we'll get more, like, combat reflexes. I guess by the end we'll have all five of them. If that's... Oh, no, it adds a lot more. Okay. Or it adds different versions of them. We lose one with the wild. Okay. I'm not sure if this is better than a, than a hunter, but I like it. We're going to go with it. So we are a hunter. We are a dwarf. Yep. Um, we're gonna have we're gonna have a lot of barrow dwarves just because I think you know we don't need defensive training. I mean, we, there will be giants, and what's the other one? We're not gonna fight very many orcs and goblins that I've seen. There are a couple of giants, so I mean, like that could be useful, but it seems like at least. For how far I have gotten in the game, uh, we will be fighting more undead than than giants. So we're gonna go with that one. So we're gonna want Nomad. Nomad's animal companions gain gets a plus three bonus to maximum hit points. It's not a lot, but it is something. So we'll take that. Okay. So you get a plus two for bonus or for wisdom. That's good. Dump the charisma. Don't need it. Don't want it. Um. And we're gonna want... Let's just put both of these at 15 to start. Because we're gonna want our wisdom up. We can get it to 19. We can drop intelligence. I'm okay with that. Put that at 20. What do we get for our wisdom? Is it spells? What do we get for our wisdom? Animal focus. At first level, the hunter can grant an animal aspect to his or her companion. Unlike with the hunter herself, there is no duration on the animal aspect applied to her animal companion. An aspect applied in this way remains in effect until the hunter changes it. As dead, the hunter can apply the companion bonus to herself instead of her animal companion. Okay. Additionally, a hunter can take on the aspect of an animal as a swift action. She gets the same benefits as the current animal companion focus. The hunter can use this ability for a number of minutes per day equal to her level. Okay, so that's level based. It has nothing to do with her wisdom. And then natural sense. Okay. I'm not really seeing a reason that we're going to need um, wisdom. Like, I'm sure it'll help with the spells, but maybe we don't want to max out wisdom. Maybe that's not the most important one. Maybe we can put that at 16, even. And then, so, since we're going to be using ranged weapons, bows and crossbows... Uh, so crossbows, do crossbows not get any 
damage bonuses. Shit. I don't know. Um, let's go 18 and 14 con. Having a little bit of con. We'll do that because crossbows and bows will be use. Decks will be useful for those to hit. So that'll be useful. I think that's what we're going to start with. Uh, we'll see where we go from there. So is there anything we're missing? Perception could probably do... I can probably do with somebody being really good at perception. Stealth as well will be useful. And... We should be okay on all the other ones, to be honest. So let's just get maybe athletics. Sure. And then for this, we're going to need point blank shot. Your animal companion. We're going to go for the dog. I've not used a dog before, and you know, I'm, I'm a dog lover, so let's get let's get us a dog. Um, we're gonna want Acid Maw for sure, and Magic Fang for sure. Although we do have um, we do have our Druid that has Magic Fang, so we could have him have Magic Fang, and have you do something more along the lines of like this aspect of the Falcon. To help your ranged attacks. Yeah. And we'll go with a Rastal. You'll be lawful neutral. You'll be our one non-evil character in the party. Alright. That's fine. We'll go with that base. You look like you probably have some scars. Let's give you that scar right there. Eye color. Can't tell, so we're going to go with some dark green. Can't tell your hair. I think I'll just keep that. Do you have a long beard? Yeah, you do. It's probably more like this beard. Well, actually. I kind of like just that beard. And you have like a, a light brown hair. Something like that. Yeah. Now you don't have... Still don't know what these tattoos are for. What? What is there only like a specific... Somebody tell me, please. <laughs> is it only for like Oreads or something? A, you know, a character I've not made before. We'll give you f some face paint, though. To kind of represent what you've got going on. Yeah, sure. Something like that. And clothes, you're in black. Just black, black, black. All the way black. There you go. Mere flesh wound. Confidence fine, yeah. And your name will be Elberth. Elberth, you were born on the 23rd of... You know what? Abadeus. Their life ends here. We don't get Abadeus very often because they always switch. Okay. Oh, wow. That's new, isn't it? Cool. All right. What weapon do you have currently? You have a bow. Do I have a crossbow to test this with? I do not. That's unfortunate. Okay, we need to go buy a crossbow. That way I can see before, you know, I make a mistake on, like, weapon focus. Because crossbow is probably what I want to go for. But we did put some points in strength. So, like, if I don't think crossbows give strength. So, you know, that's a bit of a problem if, uh, you know, um, okay, just give me something cheap, damn it. You better have a cheap crossbow. There we go. Okay. So, if I put that on... So you do one plus four with that. Plus four with that. Now, crossbow has a larger crit range, but uh, bows have a critical three. Okay. Hmm. 
so it doesn't add damage to it. So we won't be ever adding anything to the crossbow. So is that the same for both types of crossbows? I wish I could just like search your wares for what I'm looking for. A heavy crossbow. There's 1d10. Okay, I think it just does more damage. Then we have a composite short bow. This feature allows you to add your strength bonus to damage with bows. It, it kind of seems like there'd be very little point to going crossbow. Unless you just don't have strength. Which I put strength on my character. So we should go composite cross or longbow, right? Although we do have that card. I don't know. So... It was, was there any other reason to have strength if I don't go composite crossbow? Or if I go longbow? Probably not. But we'll kill... I mean, I guess I could have gotten my dex all these 20 or... Got my con higher. You know what? We'll, we'll just go with it. For now. And see where it, where, it, where it takes us. At third level, you can move through any sort of difficult terrain at normal speed. Fantastic. And we get precise companion. Precise short shot or outflank. As a bonus feat. She does not need to meet the prerequisites for this. Okay. That, that, and... I guess we'll go nature. It couldn't hurt. So it's suggesting we use precise shot. That seems like the right move. And for another level one spell here, we're going to take Hurricane Bow. Good. For level three, we get a feat. And weapon focus. Hold on. Let's get on the boat. Uh, well, do we want to buy anything? We have a thousand gold. Let's buy some potions. Let us buy some potions before we leave. Um, do we want light wounds? So we won't be able to get too many. Let's just get... Um, another eight of these. Well, no, I hate it. <laughs> I hate it so much. Uh, drop off 70 of them. And one more. Here we go. There we go. Okay, let's get on the boat. Probably should have saved my money, but it is what it is. Yeah, there's a lot of things I could have probably done better with that. So I wanted to go see that bow. Is that a cross? Is that that's a heavy crossbow, right? Evercold. It's a heavy crossbow. Yeah. It's not that expensive either, really. So yes, we do want heavy crossbow. There we go. Shit, we didn't we didn't buy a crossbow. <laughs> oh, I'm so dumb. Okay, well. And we've already got hurricane bow, right? Okay. Just wanted to make sure that I was remembering that correctly. We can sell magic or we can get magic fang still. Or we could get something like fairy fire. That could be good. Let's get fairy fire. I think that's a. Uh, I remember that being a, a good spell. Maybe that was in Kingmaker. Maybe that was outside of the game at the tabletop. That'll be good though. Okay, level four. You get level two spells. And boost strength. 
Or dexterity, rather. There you go. For your level 2 spells. Aspect of the bear. No, we don't need that one. Bark skin. One friendly creature. Maybe. One sense vitals. That'll be a good one. I don't think we want bark skin. We've got the druid that can do bark. Bark skin. Instead, maybe we want like Cat's Grace to help my decks. Maybe. Sure. Why not? Okay, I don't know if that was the right choice, really. Okay, so now when we're looking at this, for our dog companion, I know Trip is a really great one to get, but we will be getting that automatically, right? So maybe we should go for something like this, where we get the armor proficiency automatically. That could be good. An artful acrobat, what is that? Okay. Death touched. Fast movement. Wrecker. What's aggressor get? Power attack. So we have a tank already. So we get power attack, bleeding strike. Let's go with aggressor. And then for your stuff, let's just do that. Okay. We could get light barding just to have it. We probably won't go down to like heavy armor or anything like that. But yeah, we'll get light barding just so we have it. We could get some good buffs from it. And our name, Monarch. I like it. Monarch, you were born on the 5th of Abadeus. Sure, you were born in the same month. Yeah. Good, 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 good. Let's level you up. Boom, boom. Excellent. You can never feat this level. Um. Weapon focus. Now, I know wolves have bite. Let's make sure that you also are a biter. You do. Is that your only attack? It is. So we want to make sure that's a good attack then. So weapon focus, bite. And then strength. There we go. All right. Do I need to set these? No, but we do need to rest again for that. Do I want to change your spellbook now that I have what I have? No, I think we're still okay. So this is only my animal companion. Okay. Let's go ahead and rest. Okay, so it's a bit of a, a bit of a bummer that I don't have a crossbow. I was that was a major lapse in my decision making I can do that I, that's actually a really nice feature being able to do that so let's look at our our, our companions here i will have you on the side here and I can have you a little closer both of you good all right let's get moving Make sure we don't have... We could sell these. And that way we'd be able to get a crossbow. You know what? Let's do that. I'm pretty sure our next companion will be a spellcaster of some sort. And not a monk. So... Let's do this. I think this would probably be... More likely to get me to the next stage than holding on to those. And if I do make a monk, 
I could always make it. I could always buy it back if I want. There we go. So now, this is your normal gear, right? We need to see your magic gear. And hopefully we'll have just enough for what we need. So you want heavy crossbow. Just enough, yep. Take these off. There we go. And now we can sell these. And that. Got a little bit of gold left over. Good. Alright, now we're for real setting out. Into the second expedition. We're going to get our first mythic ability, which will be very nice. We'll finally be going down the path of lichhood, lichdom, whatever. Becoming a lich. Okay. So let's take a look at what we have here. Ooh. We definitely want to end on Island of Loneliness. What is this one? Mysterious Merchant. I think we're going to go this route. Right here, right here. And then we'll go up to the pirate place. So I do want to get that second map and then go here. That's the plan. That is the plan, man. I am uh, being reminded that I should be inspecting enemies more than I am. And to that I say, I don't need to inspect them. I know already the best course of action. Uh, and if they somehow defeat me, it's not because I didn't know their abilities. It's because they're cheating. And that is really the only explanation that is viable for that kind of behavior on their part. So I will continue to only inspect bosses for the most part. All right, so we got kobolds. Kobolds, 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 kobolds. I'll make my own legend. You're gonna charge him? Let's see how this goes. Oh, we're in... We're in this form, okay. I'm gonna go ahead. Don't hold back. What did you just do? Why did you use Ice Storm? How did you use Ice Storm? What? Oh! <laughs> The laws of magic on this island are peculiar. Every time a creature casts a spell, uses uses a spell-like ability, or activates a magic item, it must make a con concentration check. On a failed check, the spell is wasted, but another random spell is cast on the same target instead. Well, okay. Shit, okay. We're just gonna have you not attack then. <laughs> Never a dull moment. Okay, well that's I appreciate privacy. One hell of a start to our journey here. We need to make sure he does not cast ever again. That's not great. <laughs> Monarch is not a happy camper right now. How much longer, I wonder? I'm not touching that. 
nor shoot you. All right. I'm gonna charge him. You hold. We will be victorious. And make sure he does not cast the damn thing. Ow. I am your end. There we go. Hopefully he will not ever cast again while we're in here. Oh man, what a bad start. What a bad start. Got it. Alright, go pick that. See what we got in here. Now, I do know that we have, um, healing potions that we could use, but I, I prefer not to use them at the very beginning. Um, a waste of time. we'll see if, if that decision proves to be a poor one. We cannot be defeated. Good. It looks like it's working. He's not going to be attacking unless I tell him to. Oh my god. You should have run. This wound, my gift to you. Power word kill. <clears throat> okay. Okay, that did not heal, like, at all. God, we're so healthy. We have 64 health. My goodness, okay. Good thing that heals you pretty well. There's one on you. One on you. All of my healing potions. Gone in the first couple rooms. Okay, you know what we're going to do? We're just going to leave you behind. Hold on, do any of you have bows? Yeah, there we go. Alright. That'll be better. Okay. I'm pretty sure this is the way out, so let's go this way. Good. Good. Blessing of good fortune. Got some AC. Fantastic. I do like that. A gelatinous cube. I have no blunt damage dealers. You I are supposed to, to concentrate. Where are your spells at? I'm up for an adventure. Um Why did none of his okay. There they are. He should have been in that form the entire time. The fact that he wasn't is kind of annoying, but you know. It is what it is. Go ahead and charge. This is my path. I can't cast um, like that. Can you charge? Both of you charge. Wolves escape. charge in and dogs, since you'll be doing the most damage to them. Perfect. That went really well, actually. <laughs> Get this. Some more shields. Nothing too great. Okay. How much longer? I can't believe we're at death's door already. Alright. Mm, I don't think this is going to work. Good. Kill him. Oh, he's knocked down? Good. That trip is amazing. Is that is that from Rock that has the trip? Or is that the dog? Or is it both? I don't know. It's great though. Move aside. 
Okay. Unlock that. Some padded armor. And a shield. Okay. What do we got? Okay, just cobalts. Get him. Good. And last one. Okay, this is going a lot better now that, you know, I'm a little more settled. And Firmrock is doing a lot better in wild shape, which is good. Got more shielding here. What is my AC now? 32 AC. That's fantastic. Getting close to the end. Should be one guy in here. Should be able to kill him. With our AC buff, we should be fine. Perfect. Unlock this for me. Cold Iron Star Knife. Okay. And I believe it's going to be over here. Oh, this is the end. Good. Get our crystal. And let's head on out of here. Phew. Man, that was a... um Unexpectedly difficult first island. <laughs> Mostly my own fault for not paying attention to the... um. You know. Here you go, buddy. All right. Mythic hero. We're going to go with this one. Because we are going to be coming... We're going to become a, a, a lich... Which I don't know if that actually... Yeah. This will be good. Negative le energy levels we're immune to. It would be nice if we were like actually being attacked, but that's okay. Every little bit helps. So for you... You're not a shapeshifter. We could get a second mystery. We could go nature. I feel like we get other things here. Why did I say I wanted to go nature earlier? There was a reason, but I don't remember. Shit. Beneficial curse. We currently have this. Where's the one? Is it lame? No. Add pox. That one's not bad. Kind of forget what I'm doing with this character. I don't really have an idea. I'm just trying to get to <laughs> Hellfire Signifer and everything. Um, abundant Casting could be good, though. Boundless Healing could be good. I guess not having an idea of what to do with my main character is not necessarily a great thing, is it? The Waves could be really good. Being able to heal without touching people is really good and not having to use the meta magic feat. I think we're going to go with Boundless Healing. He is going to be, I guess, I don't know if he's going to be your healer. Don't know what he's going to be. He's he's just, <laughs> he's going to be everything. It's like the, the grand idea I have in my head. He's going to be a Hell Knight fire throwing lich that raises the dead and heals people. I don't know. <laughs> um... Which ascendant, ed, ascendant Summons would be really good if I'm going to go down that path. Getting Life would be good if I'm going to go down the Heal path, too. So I just get these 
these uh, skills, right? For free. It's not terrible, but... Just get abundant casting for now. Hold on. I need to... Can I... Can I back out of this? I can't. Okay. I guess I need to decide what I want to be. Right? Do I want this guy to be our healer? Or do we want to fill the sixth slot up with a dedicated healer? I do like the idea of him being more like a... You know, life and death kind of dude. Don't really know what the signifer is going to have either, though. That's, that's another problem. Boundless healing wouldn't be bad. But abundant casting I know is going to be good. So let's get that. Yeah. So if I look at your spells here, I mean, it don't really have anything yet. He's just kind of a, an, an oracle. Let's see what level 5 brings you, though. A feat. Okay, that's fine. All right, um, let's get selective channel. That'll be good once he's raising dead, I think. I don't know. <laughs> Shield of Faith is a good one to have. Let's get that. And let's start diving more into the necromancy side of things. So things like Bone Shaker, I think will be good, I hope. And then you, a level 5 armager, you get weapon training. That'll be good. It's going to be great. Oh shit, and next level you'll be able to potentially go Hell Knight if you so desire. Advanced weapon training. Why do I have this already? I don't know. Um, the fighter applies his bonus from bravery to all will saving throws. No, we don't have bravery. Dual wielding. Finesse. Against the benefits of weapon finesse feat with all melee weapons that belong to the associated fighter weapon group. Okay. The reflex saving throws. All of the fighter's allies are treated as if they had the same teamwork feats as the fighter for the purposes of determining whether the fighter receives a bonus from his teamwork feat. Ah, oh, that's pretty good, isn't it? That feels really good. We have fighter's tactics. That'll be good. We, we'll be able to get, like, I don't know, the shielded stuff, shield wall, and... That sort of defensive stuff. Without having necessarily to give it to other people who wouldn't necessarily be taking it. Because they don't really use a shield. Although, I guess, you know. Ah, it'll be alright. <laughs> Maybe getting, like, fighter's reflex should be better. No, let, let's do it. Let's do it. Um, for axes, that's going to be us. Yep. Whenever the fighter attacks with a weapon from this group, he gets a plus one bonus on attack and damage rolls. Yes, excellent. And for your mythic power. For your mythic power. Mythic charge could be good. We do charge on a regular basis. I do like that. Three times per day, you automatically dispel any effects that make you frightened, dazed, sickened, shaken, staggered, nauseated, stunned, paralyzed, or confused whenever you become affected. I like that too. Um, I 
think we're gonna get this because he will be the one doing the charging when we do charge. I think that's a smart move and a safe move. Level five for you, you get a feat and more sneak attack. There you go. You don't need point blank shot. Blind fight could be all right. Double slice. Add your strength bonus to damage rolls made with your offhand weapon. Normal is you only add half. Okay, yeah, we want that. That'll make your offhand weapons hit the same amount, right? Yes. That'll be good. That'll be good. And for this... Your natural attacks now ignore all damage. Okay. Isn't there like a sneak attack one? No. I do like that. That could be pretty good. Don't automatically miss when you roll a one on an attack roll. This one is, it sounds nice. Like it could be nice in theory, but I feel like in this game in particular, it's so rare that you'll have the modifiers needed to land a hit, even if you don't automatically miss on a one, right? I feel like that's just not worth it. Maybe that's just me. A leading strike could be good. Could be good. Then keep fighting. The power of your melee attacks keep growing. Every turn, as long as you make at least one melee attack, you gain... This seems really good. Why haven't I been using that? To the end of combat. Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to think assault. Give her the power. All right, for our druid boy here, you get miasma. Starting at fifth level, if a blight druid is adjacent to a creature at the beginning of its turn, the creature must succeed at a fortitude save with a DC of 10 plus half the druid's level plus the druid's wisdom. Okay, so it'll be what, like 17 right now? Or become sickened for one round. A creature of the animal, fey, or plant type that fails its save is nauseated for one round. And sickened for one minute thereafter. If the creature makes its save, it is immune to this effect for 24 hours. As are creatures immune to disease. Okay, hopefully that's not a friendly fire thing. Because that would suck. But that'll be good. And you get those too. Um, Okay. Iron Hide could be good, but can cast spells while using Wild Shape. That's what we want. Awesome. And then we're going to want, where is it? Master Shapeshifter. When you become the target of a pup. Wait, no. Uh, additionally, if you have the Wild Shape ability, you can use it a number of times, any number of times per day. Yes. What else does it do? Whenever you become the target of Polymer Effect, all the physical ability scores adjustments are modified by plus four. Seems good. That doesn't... Okay. Just making sure. And then for you, Urban Hunter, you get Animal Insight. Cool. That'll be good. And do doop and doop. Rapid shot or deadly aim? Let's get deadly aim. And for this one. You know what? Let's go ahead and get. Let's get natural rhythm. 
Yeah. And then for your mythic ability... We're gonna want mythical beast. Buff up monarch here. And you get a feat this level. And we're gonna give you... Thinking combat reflexes. Let's make sure there's not anything more pressing for you. We get combat reflexes, so you'll be able to make four attacks of opportunity in combat, if need be. All right. Good. Let's go ahead and stash away our stuff. Like so. Don't think I want that padded armor. I got the studded armor on my one dude. So I think we'll be okay. I think that'll be okay. All right. Do we want to rest now? I don't think so. I think I think I'll risk going another island. We might want to rest before the pirate island or maybe after. I'm not sure. We definitely want to do the pirate one because we have one map. And we'll have two maps after that, which would be great. Okay. And looking at the formation, I think this would probably be better. Something more like that. Yeah. Okay, got the Wolves of the Hungry Moon. Go ahead. Charge. And we're going to switch back to you using that. No Undertow. Excellent. That went well. I'm happy with that. Go ahead and skin him. Okay. I'm gonna go this way. Alright. Charge him. Oh, with the miasma. That was good. And luckily, it does not have friendly fire, which is very nice. Alright, we're just gonna go straight up this way. I'll make Charge him. Time to stretch me How we doing? Good. Good. I don't know. I mean, maybe it's just at this level. Maybe it becomes not that great yet, but my asthma seems pretty damn useful, in my opinion. There's a tower shield. Don't think we actually are going to want to use tower shields because the guardian shield's not tower shield. All right, let's go this way. Okay, we got a mimic up ahead. Adventures await. Charge him. A test of my abilities. Did we trip it? I think we tripped it. Boom! Explode him. Ink all over the place. This is my okay, this is a big boy. Let's test ourselves here. Everybody. Critical hit. Damn. We are doing great stuff right now. Apprentice robe again. Another breast... Or not another breastplate, but a breastplate. Uh, I'm just taking random shit from that right now. Alright, this is going a lot better than the last one, which is good, because the last one went, was going terribly. Okay. Got a trap up ahead. I stand ready. Okay, got a lot of guys up ahead. Let me move this guy. Jesus. Got a cleave coming in. Stop him. 
Okay, he's dead. Agna, go and uh, get rid of that trap for me, please. If you'd be so kind, my dear. Thank you, thank you. Alright, let's go this way. Another fang of the hungry moon. We should move. Charge him. All of you guys attack. Good. Oop. Uh, unlock it, please. Yeah, they had a lock on the side there. There's some full plate. Silver robe. So the full plate. Nine. So that gives me ten. This would give me ten as well. However, they should be around the same actually now I'm looking at them. Huh. Because we have four decks. So this should be giving me all of it, right? This should be giving me 11 AC, which is how much this should be giving me. From the armor, I'm getting seven. From the dex bonus, we are getting four, so we're getting 11. And it's lighter, so not that, this, right? No, we are getting one more. How? Is my math wrong? Oh no, we've got two levels of armor training, don't we? So yes, this will be better. However, we are now at a medium load. It's not great. Not great at all. How much are these? Take this off. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna need to get more strength. I think. Not that he needs to be moving too fast. As long as he's the first one to in, everybody should be, you know, around him. It's only if we're chasing things down that we'll need to worry. Hopefully we won't be doing that very often. There's the exit. Let's see what magic item we get. Something good. A cape. Blood clarity. Whenever the wearer of this cloak of resistance plus two lands a killing blow, they gain immunity to mind affecting conditions for three rounds. Huh. That's pretty good. Do you have one? Do you have a robe? No. Or a cloak, rather? Yeah, you can have this. There you go. A nice red cloak. Uh, we do have the silver robe. Plus one bonus on all saving throws against fear effects. Do you have a shirt? You do not here. Have that. That'll be nice. Okay. Let's get out of here. That was much easier. I'm much happier with how that turned out than the <laughs> first island. Um, good. Okay. Go ahead and take all of those. You can have all of these too. Sort, please. There we go. All right. Another island down. Now we go to a tricky island. This one's gonna be tricky.